S's gone wild. What to do when sibilance takes over your audio. And uh, good morning, I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent and voiceover career coach. And if you're saying to yourself, wow, that screw, your, your picture looks way different than it usually does. I am giving you the view right now. And let me just double check, make sure everything's going through okay. And that um, everything is working. Because usually I can monitor that. Okay, good. Everything seems to be working okay. All right, good. So anyhow, the reason things look a little different this morning is because I'm doing something special. I am giving you a sneak peek. This is what you're about to see is the kind of thing you would see uh, as my as my blueprint print members, the members of my Voice Over Blueprint program would watch as I work during the day. So I want you to be able to see my desktop and watch as I work on something. Specifically today, sibilance. When S's get out of control and they splatter and they sizzle, and you, you know the drill. So there are a number of ways you can take care of sibilance. Mic technique is one way to do it. Uh, software using a plug-in, a de -esser. But did you know that if your DAW, your digital audio workstation, your recording software has a spectral view, you can also use your spectral view to tame sibilance, especially minor sibilance. If you, if you have major sibilance, certainly start with mic technique and then a, you know, a good plug-in can help after that. But sometimes I still have, uh, even after those things, I'll have occasionally an S that gets a little too sizzly, you know, it sneaks through. And I just want to go make a quick edit and get it under control. And I found the spectral view in Adobe Audition. And by the way, uh, whatever DAW or, or recording software you use, if it has a spectral view, the principles, the principles are the same. So what I'm going to do for you this morning is just demonstrate. So I'm going to record something. Um, let's see here. There we go. We'll record. And uh, let's make up something here. Uh, Slippery Sam sat on a snake. That's not too bad, uh, sibilance wise. So let me get a little closer to the mic. Slippery Sam sat on a snake. Okay, still not too bad, but it, it's there. So in spectral view, uh, I'm looking at it this way as opposed to this way. Editing this way is more two dimensional. Slippery Sam sat on a snake. So those S's are a little, you know, they're a little bit sibilant, a little out of control. So if I want to, I can actually work on them here in the regular uh, record view. And what I can do, I can do two things. Number one, I can I can reduce the length of the S by just chopping out the middle of it. And that's going to, that's a first step. It's going to help. Slippery Sam sat on a snake. But if I want to, if it's still okay. a little bit too much for my taste, I can select the S and then pull it down a couple of dB, just to lower the volume just ever so slightly. I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. Pick this slippery sand. There's the sat. And then here's the snake, the S and snake. I'm just going to pull it down just a few dB, two or three dB. And slippery Sam sat on a snake. A little too aggressive. I took out a little bit too much, but you get the idea. So that's that's one way you can take care of it. But let's go to the spectral. That was a bonus. Let's go to the spectral view. I'm going to undo all of that. And let's undo that. Okay, so everything's back to normal. So now I'm going to pull up the spectral view. Okay. Typically what's going to happen, if it's really sibilant, you're going to see uh, what I would see is a bright yellow. As you can see, this is really not overly sibilant. So what I'm going to do, let me, I have a de that I run in real time for my universal audio setup here. So I'm going to, there, I, I just turned it off. So let me re-record it with it being super sibilant. S Slippery Sam sat on a snake. Slippery Sam sat on a snake. I'm sure you could hear the s, s sizzle there. So let me turn the uh, DSR back on. There we go. DSR is back on. But now take a look at my spectral view. Okay, see? See now? See that bright yellow? This is kind of the heart of where that sizzle is coming from. So what I do is I just take my um, marquee selection tool here. There are a couple of tools here at the top of the menu. It looks like a little square, dotted square, lined square. So I'm just going to select the brightest spot, which is going to be right here. Take a listen. That's it. And so I'm just going to turn it down, eh, maybe 3 dB, just enough to bring it down a little bit. S S Can we undo it? S Before. Oops. I just deleted it. What did I do? Uh, 
Okay. I lost my spot. Hold on just a second. Let's uh, undo record. Redo record. Well, now I'm going to have to re-record it. Hold on just a second. Let me turn off my DS. -er. Okay. Slippery Sam sat on a snake. Lots of siblings there. Let me turn off my DS -er just so it doesn't become annoying to you. Okay, there we go. These are the S's right here. So I'm taking my marquee selection tool. I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to select what I call the hot spots. It's the bright yellow right there. See that? You can hear it. Very high pitched. So I'm going to bring it down yeah, about, about 3 dB to start, maybe 4, just to see, see how much lighter it is. Now listen to it. Slipper. Better. I'm going to go through here, turn that down a couple dB, about 3.5 dB. Turn that down about 3 dB ish. I just do it, you know, I do it by ear. I listen and make sure it sounds right. There's not a, a rule. It depends on how sibling it is, you know. So there's about 3 dB. So now it, look at it. See, the, the hot spots are gone. Slippery Sam sat on a snake. Now the biggest problem is, is the S's are too long because I was over exaggerating. So if I chop out a little bit of the middle of them and go back and listen, here we've got Slippery Sam sat on a snake. And they're too loud because I was overemphasizing them. So now I go back through and I pull down the volume just a couple of dB and sat on a snake right there's the last s pull it down a few db and slippery sam sat on a snake and that is one way it's the manual way to edit uh sibilance but you know even like i said i use the ds -er and occasionally i'll get a little sizzly s so i can just you know i can just bring up the spectral view and go ahead and look for that hot spot highlight it turn it down a few db and move on and i'm done with it so it's just a, you know, it's a nice tool and something that hopefully, um, you know, you'll use to, to your benefit. All right. So now what I want to do here is go back to, let's go back to full screen mode. There we go. All right. So, so glad you're on the live stream this morning. And um, I want to just do a little check-in. So if you would take just a moment, let me know your name, where you're watching or where you're listening from this morning. And by the way, like I said, this is the kind of thing that my students and my voiceover blueprint get to see me do on a daily basis. That's just, you know, as I'm editing and working on projects. If you want to check it out, and I want you guys to be successful, meaning make money in voiceover. That's what I do as a coach and all the things that that's involved, whether it's getting your audio right, getting your performance right, marketing, business, the whole shebang, the whole nine yards. Go below in the description, the first link. Just go and check it out. Take a look and see what's going on there. Okay. Christopher, good cherry coffee election day coming to you. <laughs> and a good Michigan cherry coffee day to you as well. Which is what I'm drinking, which is what I drink in most mornings. Janet from Florida. Hey, what's up? Stephen Bucyrus, John in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, from the windy shores of Long Island. Ryan, what's up? Hey, Derek from Kennewick. Hey, Tim, good morning to you. Steven Oshkosh, how's it going? Aaron, what's up? Good morning, Texas, making some tea. You know what also Texas has that I like? Toast. Texas toast, one of my favorite things to eat. Tim, good morning. And everyone in Crown Point, Indiana says good morning as well. Patricia, Jacksonville, Florida. Danny in San Diego. Philip in Tokyo. Missed the broadcast yesterday due to time change in the U.S. Yes, uh, yes. We are now on standard time, which means uh, we oper we're operating an hour later than normal, which means we've got an extra hour of sleep, but we also have an extra hour of darkness at night. Well, not technically, but during our waking hours. Philip. Uh, okay, that's Philip in Tokyo. Sorry, Philip. Uh, that's a double hello to you this morning. Sandra. Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, Aaron. How you doing? Christopher. David, how are you doing? Good morning in Oshawa, Canada. Don, what's going on this morning? Uh, let's see here. The, the stream or the stream just scrolled on me. Don's in Kansas City. Bruce, hello. Matt, softening his S's in Orlando. Tim, good morning. Don't forget to vote. Indeed, thank you. Eric, hola from Richmond, Texas. Leticia, San Antonio. 
Rob says, the spectral view is always on when I'm recording and editing. Greetings from Loveland. Sometimes I get a noticeable whistle around 4K that I have to fix. Love Adobe Audition. I know, isn't it? It's the best. I love it. You have a great day in Loveland, Rob. Hey, Barb, how are things going in Ann Arbor? David, Lexington, Kentucky. Bruce, you're welcome for showing the spectral view. Uh, you know, it's really funny. I don't know if it's funny or not, but um, sometimes... I'm a little slow to adapt to new things only because I have such a routine and I become, it's like, you know, when you become really proficient at something and you're really good at it, like for instance, I was extremely good with uh, magnetic reel-to-reel -reel tape, razor blades and grease pencils and editing, believe it or not. I know it sounds like a nightmare. Uh, splicing tape, splicing block, razor blade, but I, I could fly through that stuff. You know, I was working in radio at the time and not only doing production, but I was doing a morning show. And so, you know, while the song's playing, I'm recording phone calls. I'm editing the phone calls for air. I mean, I, you know, I'm doing all of this on the fly. And I, and I was so fast at it that when digital audio came along, I was very resistant because it meant I had to retool and learn a whole new skill set. But I was already very proficient at that. And I could, it, you know... If, uh, if it had been practical to keep using magnetic tape, I'd probably be using it today. But times change. Everybody switches to, uh, you know, to digital, and it, it takes a little while. But once you once you got to figure it out, man, you got to figure it out. Uh, but Spectra, what I was saying is it took me a while to—I to, just ignored it. I just didn't want to mess with it because I thought what I'm doing, it works, and it was. But what I didn't realize was that Spectral has a few just a little tricks like what I just showed you and, and more than what I just showed you but make it so surgical, um, you know, it gives you more of a 3D ability to go in and take out the middle of a sound, not just everything, but just, just the little bits and pieces that you need to make it sound the way you want to. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> is sibilance and spectral view always in the middle? I thought it was at the top the whole time. Well, you know, Christopher, it depends on where that frequency is in, in your voice. And, uh, the, you could see my, where mine was at. So, you know, everybody's voice is going to be a little bit different, but that it typically, at least in Adobe Audition, shows up, <clears throat> excuse me, as a bright yellow spot. I wouldn't get hung up on where you see it. I mean, where it is, it's just wherever it is, that's what you got to deal with. <clears throat> Steph in Seattle, good morning. Susan, good morning in New Jersey. Alan in Pittsburgh. Hey, Chris in Shelby, Ohio. Ty Moore, how are you doing? Another member of the VoiceOver Blueprint, Warsaw, Indiana. Bob, hello in Reedsville, North Carolina. Uh, Grosner in Dolly Parton country. Are you in Sevier, Sevier uh, County? Uh, there in Sevierville? That's, uh, we're talking Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, the Smoky Mountains, East Tennessee, one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. Hey, Blue in New Jersey, how are you doing? Still new to audition, trying to figure things out? Well, hopefully today's little uh, brief tutorial helps add to your knowledge base there. I love Texas toast, too. <laughs> I make grilled turkey cheese and avocado sandwiches with it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you could use Texas toast for any, any sandwich. It might even make stuff that I'm not crazy about taste really good. I don't know, but I love Texas toast. Rusty. In the uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Sean, good morning in Greenville, South Carolina. Started his voice acting career in September. Started watching exactly a month ago today. Did his first paying gig yesterday, Sean. Hey, hey celebration. I love it. Way to go. Santiago, good morning in Argentina. And let's see. Much love from Charlotte, North Carolina. And rock the vote. Yes, Sean, thanks for all you do. I... Feel like I know Janet from Fleming Island, Florida, Steve from Bucyrus and Phil from Tokyo. I know, right? Um, Ty says, splicing magnetic tape sounds like a fun throwback episode for your audience. Maybe more work than it's worth. Ty, if I could actually get my hands on that stuff, I'd love to do it and see if I still have my skills. If not, it could become quite dangerous when you're working with very sharp razor blades. Uh, but I don't recall in all the, the years of me editing, I don't recall ever cutting myself, but if I had that equipment available, I'd love to do it. That would be fun. Um, oh, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Pigeon home. All right, Grosner. Patricia, beautifully done. So glad I tuned in. So glad you tuned in too, Patricia. Uh, good morning, Bill. I remember the first time I did digital editing. Oh, hey, Maurice in Chicago. Yes. 
I know it was, um, I avoided it as long as I could, but man, it's, I mean, what an awesome thing to be able to do. It makes life so much easier. Uh, all right. Hey, thanks for tuning in this morning, guys. Uh, appreciate it. And again, don't forget, go into the description below, click the link, find out all about the voiceover blueprint. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the blueprint. And of course, subscribe so you get notifications when I go live, as well as like, share, all that good stuff. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.